Hey there, welcome back. Now in this lecture, let us talk about nested relationship or nested serializer. Now currently we have these two serializer and if I try to jump here on my link where I'm trying to just access the stream, here I have these three streams. The first one is none, then we have Netflix, then we have Prime Videos. Now what I want is, I want relationship of all the movies that they have with these platform. In simple words, I want Netflix to show all the movies it has. I want Prime Videos to show all the movies and I want none to show all these movies. So they have a relationship between movies and Netflix, right? I want that here. So what we can do is we can create relationship in their serializer. Remember what I'm going to do is the first example that I want to take is suppose there is a journalist and there is a article. So one journalist can have many article, but article is going to have only one writer, editor or journalist. Just take it as example. One platform can have many movies, but one movie will have only one platform. Remember this. So that means this is our platform and it can have many movies and I want to watch them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a relationship. So to create this nested relationship, just jump here, go to serializer relations and then click on nested relationship. Here you can see you will get a quick definition as well as an example. So one album can have many tracks. That's how they are defining. Something similar I'm going to do. I'm going to have one streaming platform can have many movies or web shows. Let me jump here. So I need to take it after my watch list. So I can port my watch list here. Remember one movie platform can have many watch list. So I'm going to use watch list. I need to take this name watch list itself, which we gave here to the platform. Remember it's going to work in reverse. So I'm going to use watch list. Then I'm going to select this nested serializer and then many equals to true as well as read only. So what I'm going to do is use my watch list serializer. Then I need to pass uh, many equals to true as well as read only. So what we did is we created a new item, a new field here in which we are going to have all the elements regarding this watch list. So if we have selected Netflix, it is going to show all the movies, all the show that Netflix currently has. Let me save this one, jump here and try to refresh. That's how it is going to work. Remember this watch list name is pretty important because we have defined it here, the related name. If I try to use any other name, maybe watch, save this one, get back here, refresh. You can see it's not showing, it's not working. I need to use watch list itself. Now here it's showing that this watch list. So currently Netflix, yeah, this is Netflix currently have only one movie. And same with watch list for prime videos. It currently have only one movie. Suppose from my database from the back, let me add a new movie in my watch list here. Let me add a new movie. Same with the storyline and add it in Netflix. Save. Now if I try to refresh, you can see Netflix currently have two movies. So this is the element for Netflix and the watch list is going to be two movies. This might be a bit confusing, but all you have to do is just take this right example. One streaming platform can have many movies and one movie can only have one streaming platform. So it's going to work in a reverse way. And that's why for streaming platform, we are showing this watch list. That's it. That's how it is going to work. I hope you got the idea about nested serializer. I'm just trying to make it more complicated with these model. Otherwise, most tutorials, most courses just try to work with only single models or single fields or something which is not related. But when we start connecting them, it's going to be a bit complicated. The next thing I want to do is I want to add a new uh, maybe streaming platform. So what I'm going to do is Instead of doing that from admin section, let me do it from here. Remember, this is a read only field. If you 
jump here. This is read only field. So we don't have to pass this. And I'm going to take many equals to true. Why? Because watch list can have many items. Like here we have two items. That's why. So let me add a new element. Let me copy this one. I need to remove this watch list part. I also need to remove this ID part. Cool. I need to pass name about and website. So for name, let me take as Disney plus. Let me take something same as D plus for this uh, about section and for website in India, it is operated under Hotstar. It can be any other website, but I'm just taking this as example. So we have this, let me send a post request and we have created it. So if I just refresh my stream, so I have this item, this ID three, then we have this ID four, ID five, and this is our ID six. Now, if I add any watch list, which has platform as Disney plus, it will appear here. Let me do one thing. Let me jump onto the other part, which is going to be here list. Let me add it here. So copy this one. I don't need to pass this time. It will be auto generated. Let me give this as false. Uh, use my movie name or my TV show name as C++ and then we will have some description and for platform four, I'm going to take platform as Disney plus six. So I'm going to pass six here. We have created this and if I create this list, it is showing as platform six. But if I try to access my stream platform, here you can see we have watch list and this is appearing as our movie. That's done. That's how nested relationship work. If you need more information, I strongly recommend documentation, but we can create multiple type of relationship. This was one common type. In the next lecture, I will also talk about few others that will help you to understand this better. I hope you got the idea about nested relationship. Thank you for following and let us continue something similar in the next lecture.